is this the craziest One Piece theory? So, I think the Roger Pirates knew this hidden One Piece secret all along, which is one of the reasons of the message that Roger said right before his execution. The secret is that the world is going to sink, which was revealed in the latest One Piece chapter. I think what's happening here is that Roger knew all along what was going to happen and when he, when he said right at his execution, before he was being executed, that he has found the One Piece and left it hidden in the world, that's one of the ways of him trying to help the world, to make them, to make a lot of more people go out to sea and search and find ways to swim and survive on the water because the world is going to sink eventually. Some reasons and, and logic that confirm this theory is, let's start in order. One of the reasons might be that Crocus is living in a Laboon, the whale that's holding the Grand Line entrance. Uh, that's a pretty weird way or a weird place to be living uh, for no reason. So that's number one. Number two is what we have all been wondering. Why is Shanks crew all non Devil Fruit users? It's because he was in Roger's ship and he also knows the secret that the world is going to sink very soon. Which is why he's only collecting people for his crew that have no Devil Fruit powers. Number three, why has Rayleigh, one of the most powerful men in the world, started coating ships and working as a coater? It's also to help as many people as he can indirectly, they don't even know it, so that if and when the flood happens, they will be able to survive on their ships. Number four, and the most shocking one, the most in your face moment from Oda. Why the celestial dragons wear scuba diving suits? We always thought they were scuba diving suits, but then they confirmed and said, no, it's not, it's actually so they don't breathe the same air as normal humans do. But now, if this theory is coming to light and it becomes true, it makes a lot more sense why they have literal scuba diving suits and walking in them all the time because they're dumb and lazy and they don't know when the flood is going to happen but yet they still do know it's going to happen or maybe emu or some higher up told them to use it and masquerade it in some way another reason for this theory to be true is that why mary joy or mary joas mary joy is uh, where is located and why it's built right there right at the top of the red line because also when the world gets flooded they won't be under the water they will be safe living their lives uh, in perfect party perfect harmony even though they're villains in perfect pleasantness so now we go to some let's say shadier reasons why this theory is being confirmed to be true that's why the world nobles are so racist toward the fishmen and hunted them down and killed them and everything because when the flood happens the fishmen can easily live underwater and they will just have the whole world to themselves with no worry at all so they're of course jealous and wanted to be uh, the celestial dragons right the nobles wanted to be the only ones alive because they're the best species it's at least that's what they think. So they had them hunt down and enslaved, unfortunately. Another race that has been discriminated that could survive the flood and it's not humans is the Lunarians who can fly and survive the flood, find peaks and land and whatever they can do. Since they can fly, it's possible they can do whatever they want and also survive the flood. Another very interesting reason, Zunisha, could it be that it's some kind of a twist or a plot by Joy Boy that Zunisha isn't actually being punished, but it's being uh, used as a last resort, last city when the flood happens so that people have one last place to go to, to safety. That's a very, very possible thing. And if it happens, it's definitely gonna be a huge twist. Another reason that this theory might be true is something that's been mentioning throughout the whole of One Piece all blue unfortunately if this theory comes to light sanji will find all blue but the harder way because when the world gets flooded it will all be in the one water one ocean or all blue uh, that's it for this theory i think that 
Oda is a mastermind, a genius, whatever you can say about him, and he has always been so. Especially all these theories when they come to life throughout the history of One Piece that we have been shown right in our faces and we never understood them until the day happens. I can't wait for this theory, let's say, to be expanded a little. What do you guys think? Is this theory true? Could this happen? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more.